Final video on how do we know our workouts are effective. I've covered performance, specific adaptation to impose demand, building muscle, time under tension, over rest period of course, and I've also covered why things like fatigue, exhaustion, muscle soreness, working up a good sweat, or satisfying some scientific rule like a heart rate zone or something, is not, not important, but it doesn't promise results. So today we're talking about how do we make sure our workouts are more effective at helping us burn fat. Well, there's, there's a couple ways we can look at this. The good news is every workout is effective at helping you burn fat. It's impossible not to burn fat from any form of training. That's because any type of physical activity creates tension. Tension burns calories and fat. But here's the trick. We don't want to burn fat. We want to lose fat, don't we? And that's the trick because nobody ever lost weight because they burned fat. I know it's like, do this, burn fat. I know it sounds promising. It doesn't actually mean anything because we're always burning fat. 24 seven, if you're breathing, you're burning. The thing is our fat stores that we have on our body is not controlled by how much we burn. It's the rate of speed between the two. If you're storing at a faster rate of speed than you're burning, yes, you will pack on pounds. If you are burning at a faster rate than you're storing, you will lose weight. So burning is easy. Everything burns. I'm burning more fat just moving my arms making this video for you. Okay? So that's the good news is to increase our caloric expenditure, do anything, any physical activity at all works. But there are three things you can do to kind of optimize it a little bit. Number one is how much muscle mass you're engaging in an activity. Muscle is fat and calorie burning machinery. The more muscle you use, the faster you burn it. That's why things like cross country skiing, swimming, hiking with trekking poles, and full body weightlifting exercises like kettlebells and stuff burn a lot of calories because we're using a lot of muscle. Number two is intensity. So anything that creates more tension in the muscles, like you're going up a steeper hill or you're lifting a heavier weight, you're trying to move faster, that's going to burn calories at a faster rate of speed. And then lastly, it's just time. The longer you do something, the more you burn it for. So that's why sometimes people are like, oh, I can't seem to lose any weight and they double the amount of activity they do and they start losing a little bit because they've increased their caloric expenditure by such a great amount. So how do we apply this? Well, first of all, you can apply those three things to any activity you want. Don't feel like you've got to force yourself to do an exercise you don't like. The other thing too is make sure that your caloric intake is in check. Just as with building muscle, we want to have a stabilized workout to ensure that too much variety isn't shortchanging our results. The same thing goes with weight loss. If you want to increase your caloric expenditure, keep your caloric intake the same or slightly decrease it even if you're so willing. Get rid of some of those luxury calories. Beverages are a good place to start. Cut out the alcohol, the juices, the sodas, that sort of thing. Or you can do it the other way too, of course. Keep your activity level stable, decrease your caloric intake. And you can do both too, of course, but when we're changing everything a million different ways from here till tomorrow, it's very hard to know if it's actually going to be effective. So there you go, increasing caloric expenditure. Very simple, not terribly difficult to do, and uh, let me know if you have questions down below. Be fit, live free.